Hey guys, it's Ed from Experiments Earl Airlines coming to you today from Black Rock City, Nevada, Burning Man 2013. We're out in the middle of the desert doing some FPV flying, meet some great folks, having a ton of fun. You can see the uh, scenery is beautiful, there's mountains around. And the actual location is called the Playa, and it is made of what amounts to essentially gypsum dust, which is like drywall dust that becomes mud in the winter when the snows melt. I'll show you around my camp a little bit. I came by myself this year, uh, hoping to meet some other FPV pilots, and they're around, but there's 60 something thousand people here, and so it's really hard to find somebody if they're not camping exactly where they thought they were gonna camp, and so far not having much luck. But uh, here is my hangar and uh, multi-purpose unit on my pickup truck. Uh, see on top, I've got this platform that I've used for takeoff and landings of this 3D Robotics uh, Y6 unit, which I received exactly a week ago, and miraculously was able to work out the uh, RC timer brushless gimbal and get that programmed here uh, with a laptop. Have my familiar uh, flame wheel clone from RC timer quad, which has served me quite well, but does not have a gimbal. So I've mainly relied on the Y6 to get my video here. I have a water and showering station. Underneath is the hangar which you'll see the Synapse here, uh, extremely dirty, had some great flights with that. Gasoline and water up in there. Here's my charging station, which runs off of these two um, lead acid batteries. There's the solar uh, charge controller, and the solar panels, of course, were right up on top there, facing south. Have a wind sock, and when I showed up here, I was actually the only guy here, um, and I could fly right off of the edge of the playa over there. But uh, the next day, everybody showed up and kind of boxed me in. But they're all really great folks, so no problem there. This also, of course, doubles as the uh, kitchen. Mostly living on these. You can see it's really calm at the moment. Sometimes the wind blows, but for sure, any time after about 10 a.m., it starts to heat up and the air gets really quite thin and difficult to get any lengthy flights in. And uh, pretty much everybody's looking for shade about that point anyway. Here's my ground station in the box. I have a 1.3 gigahertz uh, patch antenna that's just mounted right on the surface so I can tilt that up, put it right on the ground, point it up at the line of uh, flight. And they did actually require us to get a media tag here, um, partly because of the camera, partly because of the UAV situation. They're just kind of weird about that. And then I've got the receiver here, rebroadcast on 5.8 gigahertz to my fat short goggles using a turn G. 9XR, which I received also last week, with the Dragon Link uh, installed right there between the under the handle with the little dremeling out. Works quite well. So I'm able to get the batteries in there, get this closed up, and take it out there and do some interesting flying. Some of my cool neighbors built these uh, what are called hexa yurts. They're six sided uh, insulation board houses that stay really nice and warm in the nighttime. and cool in the daytime since they're made out of insulation material but a lot of people get by with tents like this I just kept it simple staying in the truck here's my little rickshaw my uh, crappy playa bike you'll see I would not be seen in public in the default world with that but it serves me really well right here a little rickshaw that could carry kids although I'm using it to carry multi-copters and uh, gear also serves as a fallout shelter have a little shade area right here. And then of the bins that you see there, three of them are full of RC stuff, one is full of food, and then I've got one more with clothes in the truck. And so you can see where my priorities are. The luxury accommodations consist of my pickup truck from which I've removed the rear seats and the passenger seat right there. Put down a piece of plywood, a couple of thermorests right there, and a pillow to put my head on, on the right side, passenger side. And then on the left is the so-called relatively clean zone where I try to do much of my tinkering and so forth with the computer and the uh, gimbal and stuff like that. But really, cleanliness is r relative around here. And there's, of course, yet more RC stuff on the driver's seat. Here's my bathroom, as it were, on the dashboard, toothpaste, deodorant, stuff like that. So far, having a really stellar time out here. I uh, hope you have a chance to check it out sometime. Look out for some flight footage coming up, and be well. Take care.
Here's a shot from the quadcopter of my campsite on day one before all my neighbors moved in. Here's some video of me flying, shot by another fellow also named Ed, who I met right there on the spot. I typically try to operate off of these plywood uh, boxes or platforms, at least for takeoff, in order to keep my lenses clean for the actual flight. For the best possible situational awareness and safety, what I would do is take off in line of sight mode, put the copter in loiter mode about 20 feet high, get situated for FPV and then make the flight, and then return and reverse that process landing again under line of sight. Here is one landing, however, where I landed right on the surface of the ply, and you can see the tremendous amount of dust that it kicks up. This was my favorite sculpture, a 55 foot high steel welded sculpture called Truth is Beauty. This is the temple, a very solemn place where people go to pray and meditate and say farewell to loved ones they've lost and to certain other things in life. It's burned to the ground in complete silence on Sunday night. Here is the man who is the namesake of Burning Man, this year on a flying saucer shaped pavilion all made of wood and burned to the ground in a great party on Saturday night.